hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from samax code and in this video guys i want to show you how to integrate scene builder into our netbeans ide so scene builder guys is just basically a drag and drop ui designer and it separates design from logic okay and allowing team members to quickly and easily focus on their specific aspect of application development so if you want to develop an application with graphical user interface and you want to apply different stylings different look and feel with your application so we can use scene build for uh, scene builder for that so for now let's download scene builder so just click on this by the way guys the link is available on the description box below and of course you can type in uh, glueonhq.com on your browser so you can go with this application or with this website and you can see the first page here and there's an option here to download the scene builder so of course guys in using scene builder you have to uh, consider first or consider also the version of java that you want to use so there's the latest version of scene builder for java 11 so that's 11.0.0 .0. and if you're using java 8 then so a scene builder for java 8 is a way to go so basically here there are option or there are, yeah there are um products or platform to choose from so so for example you're using windows mac or linux or even jar file you can also download that and of course guys as i've said consider the version of java that you are using and i think i am using both the java 11 and java 8 in my system so i can either download uh, one of these uh, versions okay so all you have to do guys is select so for example you're using 64-bit for windows or 32-bit and download that and of course you have to install this and guys make sure to uh, take note of the um, location for which you install the scene builder because we're gonna need that in our NetBeans IDE because as I've said from the very beginning we will be integrating scene builder into our NetBeans IDE so now after installing or after downloading and installing your scene builder so all you have to do guys is go back to your NetBeans IDE so, so for example this one and um, there's an option here to integrate our um, scene builder into our NetBeans. So basically, you have to go to Tools and then Options. And of course, there is um, an option here, Java. And under this tab panes, you can select Java Effects. And you, you just have to uh, specify the scene builder home or the uh, location directory of or installation directory of scene builder that you have installed or whatever version that you use okay so after that you can click on okay and of course you can create a new application so for example let's just create a new application or maybe we can use this javafx name uh, demo and of course there is uh, main.java here last time which yeah basically adding uh, the click me and exit button into our window so for now let's delete this buttons and create a fxml file so basically guys an fxml file is just the layout for our javafx application so first let's just create an fxml file so by just right clicking our package and new and then empty fxml so for example let's name it as main.fxml and then next and then finish so there's our empty or i mean for the most part empty main.fxml file and because there is only the layout for now for our main.fxml but we can use this in our main.java file so basically instead of using v uh, vbox root and adding the buttons to this root so we can get rid of this for now we're not uh, we're not going to use that and instead of that 
let's type in parent and then root and equals um, fxml loader so basically it is loading the fxml file so to locate our file let's just use get class and then get resource and then of course the name of our resource or fxml which is main.fxml so there you go and of course um we're just going to directly add the root into our scene okay and then we're not gonna set the size because we can set this into or i mean we can set the size of our window using the scene builder application so for now let's uh, i think this an error here class parent so we need to import that uh, javafx.scene.parent and there you go and of course the fxml loader okay so now we can um, lay out or we can design our main.fxml by just opening this so right click and open and of course guys make sure that you have already integrated your uh, scene builder application into your NetBeans IDE. So basically here we can see the anchor pane or one of the layouts available in JavaFX and of course we can set the size of this particular window by by specifying here in this particular layout. So for example uh, 650 by 400 something like that and then of course guys you can uh, select elements or UI controls from this area here so the library for our ui elements so for example button so let's try that button and just click and drag here in here we can name or we can change the label of our button so for example click me okay and uh, save that and let's go back to our netbeans and make sure to clean and build your application just to reflect the changes that we have made from the scene builder application so as you can see if you try to click on the main.fxml we can see here the button okay and let's try this run and there you go the uh, button click me and this is the application or i mean the a layout that we have configured or created with scene builder application and of course guys we can click or we can set the on action for this by using the scene builder so let's try that so let's go back to our scene builder and right here you can click on this particular button and under code we can uh, maybe say btn click me something like that and of course in this part right here the on action option so uh, we can say handle button action okay and save there were two things that we have added here the fx id and the on action method okay so let's go back to our netbeans ide and uh, right click your main.fxml and then uh, make controller as you can see guys we have uh, generated main controller from our main.fxml and the button from our fxml file has been generated here automatically and of course the handle button action method okay so in here we can say if event that get source if it is equal to btn click me btn click me and we can say system that out the print line you have click the button okay and run our file or our project so click me and then if you try to click this 
we can see here the statement or the output you have clicked the button okay so i think that's it guys on how to integrate scene builder into our netbeans id and try to configure the event handling by using also the scene builder and automatically generating the controller for our fxml file so basically guys the controller means uh, it only means that it is the java file that will try to control or try to do things for our fxml file because our fxml file is just the layout and of course this is the java code or our main controller for this particular main.fxml file. So I think that's it guys and see you in the next video.